Bonjour! Today we are going to make a great southern French dish, Provençal beef stew, or dog Provençal in French. Uh, I love to pair it with rice. It's a very tasty dish and it pairs really well with a good Saint Joseph red wine or a Croze Hermitage red wine, both from the northern Rhone Valley region. I'm hungry, so let's get started. So here are, oh, here are all the ingredients. So four pounds of beef cubed, six slices of bacon, four carrots chopped, one teaspoon of salt, 128 ounce a can of diced tomatoes, one teaspoon of peppercorn, whole peppercorns, three cloves of garlic chopped, two onions chopped, two teaspoons of olive oil, a bunch of thyme, one ounce of parsley, two bay leaves, and three cups of wine or a bottle of wine. So one we're going to start by putting the oil in the pan and we're going to saute the bacon first. So six slices of bacon that we're going to be Making sure it's cooked nicely and crispy. As you can see, the bacon is ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a Dutch oven like this. And if you don't have a Dutch oven, it's okay. You can just use a heavy um, pot. So, et voilà, the bacon, beautiful, that's wonderful. So, I'm going to dump it in a Dutch oven. I like it a little crispy, it's always better. So, I let it crisp up. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave the grease from the bacon to cook the meat in. So I'm going to turn back the heat. And now we're going to put the meat. And what's very important about the meat is we need to really brown the pieces. And they're even going to look like or smell like they're burning. But it's actually a good thing. I'm too heavy. And I really want to. them so they brown on all sides. So I want to stick them out a little bit. And we're going to do that too. Right, so make sure they're flat, they're not one on top of the other, so you can really brown them. And I'm turning the heat on high. Okay, so, so they reduce a little bit, so you can put 
a little bit on top of each other, but not too much. Because you really want them to brown and not. Yeah, my last couple of pieces. Right here. And then what I'm going to do is. Oh, one more piece goes there. Okay, and we're all set here. And I'm going to turn on high and I'm really going to let it brown. So here we are about ready. So what I want is I really want to mix them now. Get all that good juice. There we go. I see the color really brown. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold them in the Dutch oven right now. So I put the beef with the bacon in the Dutch oven and now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the wine And use the one to deglaze. Right, because you want all that sauce in with the meat. Deglaze all of the sides. Here we go. And it's nice because it'll make it easier to clean too. Here we go, and then it's hot. So what you want to do now, you want to cover your meat with your three cups of wine on your, bo uh, your bottle of wine. Just like this. And then we're going to bring it to a boil. And when meat is now boiling, so I'm going to turn it on low and we're going to add all the other ingredients. So carrots, onions, Garlic, peppercorn, salt, parsley. And you might see, so I had a teaspoon of salt and I didn't put everything. I'll taste and see how it tastes and finally the time. And what we want is we want to mix it. So if you really like pepper, like me, I'm going to add a little bit of ground pepper. Which is here. Not too much. Because there's already the peppercorn, so just a little bit. And then this is our beef stew. So you see that my one is not quite covering my meat. So I'm going to just add. Add a little bit of water. Here we go. Okay, so this is ready, and now it's going to go on low, cooking on low for three hours, covered. This is ready, and if you don't have a Dutch oven like this, you can use any other uh, heavy pot. Here we go.
The dish is ready. Beautiful, smells wonderful. Hope you like and enjoyed um, the Provencal beef stew. And bon appétit!